Now let's put it all together on a one-shot color camera image. Welcome to SETI Astro. I had a channel member request I do a one-shot color camera tutorial as well. Since I don't have a one-shot color camera, he was very kind enough to send his Ro Ophiuchus um, image and wanted me to utilize all the various scripts on it. So let's get processing. Uh, there are no filters in front of the camera. It just has the built-in UVIR cut filter. And you can see that if we do uh, a link stretch, you get that ugly green. So we'll be doing unlinked stretches at the start here. First thing we're going to want to do is run our ADBE script. And in this case, we know Ro Ufucus has uh, some dust in there. So we definitely want to exclude um, like this whole blob right here where that dark dust column is. We don't want that to affect our, our gradient. We'll leave just the default settings and, and hit execute. Okay, we'll look at the extract background. Looks like a nice smooth uh, gradient from the upper right to lower left. And now we can go ahead and do an unlinked stretch on the image and wow, right off the bat, just removing the gradient changed so much. So we'll put our master off to the side and we'll go ahead and uh, continue on this. Next thing we'll want to do is um, Blur Exterminator. We'll do a Correct Only first, and then we'll do Sharpening, and then we'll follow that up with uh, the script Find Background, and then SPCC. So we'll go ahead and run it Correct Only first, correct any misshapen stars, and that also applies that PSF across the entire image. And Russ also does recommend do all your Blur Exterminator before SBCC since it does preserve Flux now as well. Okay, correct only is done. And then I have uh, some settings I like using. It helps with uh, Star Exterminator to remove the stars without too many artifacts. I call it my Blur Exterminator fluffy settings. Okay, Blur Exterminator is done. We got nice tight stars. Nice detail up in some of these dust lanes. So why don't we go ahead and next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is color correct the image, uh, but we need to find a background first so we could run SBCC. So script, SETI Astro, find background. Again, we don't want to include those dark dust columns in the find background script. So let's go ahead and just exclude all that stuff that we don't want. Then hit search. Okay, that's done. We'll go ahead and exit the script. Here's the background I found up here in this dark region. Now we can go ahead and run SPCC. Now SPCC is going to be an interesting case here. So we got our region of interest from our fine background. We don't want an average spiral galaxy. There are a lot of different star types in this image. We're really deciding as the user, what white reference we want. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, G2V star. That's our sun. Our sun's a G2V star. So it's going to set all the stars in the image that are similar to our sun as the white reference. Everybody can have their own personal taste on how you want to set your own white reference. Um, completely up to you.
now we can go ahead and do a linked STF. Now that we're color corrected, we can go ahead and uh, run Star Exterminator. There are a ton of stars in here, uh, so we do want the large overlap, and we want our stars when we're done. Since this is still linear, you do not want to select unseen, unscreen stars. Okay, uh, Star Exterminator is done. We have all our stars. There's just a huge plethora of them. It is still in the linear state. We'll go ahead and just put the stars off to the side right now. And now we have the starless image. And man, the, the whole image is just full of dust. It, it, it's really gorgeous. He took some um, really nice data. Next, I'm just going to run NoiseX at the default settings. It is a little noisier out here in the edges, so it may need the, uh, the heavier bit of NoiseX. If it was a lot smoother, you could always reduce the denoise down some, but that's looking mighty good now. And now it's time for a statistical stretch. Script study astro statistical stretch. Since we are filling almost the entire image with nebulosity, I'm gonna keep it at the 0.25 and refresh the preview. And I, I think we're gonna want a, a bit of curves boost to bring out the brighter portions of here. We'll just hit preview refresh again. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and execute. All right, statistical stretch is done. I'm going to want to increase the vibrance on the colors in the brighter areas here, but I don't want to really increase it in the background. So let's go ahead and use mask range selection. That's going to generate a, a mask for us. We'll just drag that over to the image and then control K can show and hide the mask. Then we're going to want to add our chrominance curve just to bring up some vibrance there. Then maybe we want to add a little bit of contrast just uh, on the whole image. The background's over here. So we want to drag that background down a little bit and we want to boost up the, the brightness of those brighter areas. And then something to enhance the dark dust in here. There's another script called Dark Structure Enhance under Utilities. I find the 0.4 is a little strong, so let's just try 0.25, see where it gets us. There, that's nice. Now it really darkened up some of that, uh, those dust columns in there. And this is just personal taste on my end. I think it's a little sickly yellow up here um I, I know we ran spcc it is what it is with the colors but i'm going to just give it a, a point two on some scnr just to to take the edge off there a little bit then i think one more thing just to highlight some of the structure in the in the brighter areas let's go ahead and pull up our mask range selection again And now we have our mask applied. 
and I want to do local histogram equalization on some of the broader structures. And with local histogram equalization, you normally do the amount of like 0.2. Just, just add a little extra depth in there. And finally, maybe just one last curve boost just to brighten the image up a little bit. Okay, I think our starless portion is looking mighty good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our stars again. And we need to get our stars in. So let's go script, SETI Astro, star stretch. We can go ahead and show a preview. It does look like there's a little little green cast. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remove the green cast and just execute. And here's our nonlinear stars now. Now it's a matter of just screening them back together. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show everybody the, the pixel mass way it's going to be tilde parenthesis tilde the image we're on here times tilde the stars we want And uh, we'll create a new image. And there we go. There's our one shot color camera, row Ophiuchus uh, processing. And just as a reminder of where we started, we had this gray image uh, without much to look at. And then now here is our final, final image. Again, I want to thank a uh, channel member for bringing this up and sending me this wonderful data to play with. I hope everybody uh, got a couple tips or tricks out of this. Please comment, like, and subscribe.